4267 Virginia neighborhood. Let's walk the property. Exterior is brick. Been painted. Cracking in the porch foundation. That is old block fixable. The garage needs two doors. Paint job, possibly siding, depending on where we're going with it. We need structure beams on all the way across, roof trusses. Thing needs to be restructured. Drainage is all wrong. I think we need a roof. <laughs> We've got an additional structure on this property that will need to be removed. It is a brick structure. Interesting. Oh, this is kind of cute. It still needs to be removed. We got cracking foundation, brick all over the place. It's cute though. Bunch of landscaping to be cleaned up. Garage is tilting back towards the end of the property. Retaining wall seems to be holding though. Her built-in gutter on this old Victorian style home is rotted. That will be need to be totally redone. Cedar shakes, shingles up top need to be redone. Windows need to be redone. Outside cellar door, kinda. Oh. It looks like they're both, it's collapsing in on each other. Brian, stay out here. The earth is pushing in. They have it boarded up from the inside. I can't gain access from out here. Smell gas. Let's walk the interior. We're missing our AC unit. It has been wired for it though. Looks like someone took out the floor to ceiling windows. It is vinyl windows. They're older. Got a lot of water damage on our ceiling here, and on the porch beams. All right, let's walk it. Interior. This is first room.
Second room. Basement. Basement. Let's go check out the basement. Here's where we can, this is all right here, this is all paneling. This is all have to be removed along with the plaster that's underneath of it. Steep staircase. Stay up here. Stack stone foundation. Brian, Yo. go in my truck and get my flashlight. We'll try the basement shot later. Looks like there were dogs in here. Chewed the door up. We have a very big kitchen. The stack stone foundation, there's really no way of drying this out. I mean, we could reparge it, it costs trench it. Definitely going to need an upgraded panel. Looks like a newer furnace. 90 percenter. Water heater appears to be newer. We have a mix of CPVC and copper throughout the home. How you gentlemen doing? How you doing, man? Living the dream. size closet here we'll probably change the access this would get walled up the door will then access will come through here The center of this house comes in and is coming in on itself. I'm not sure if you can see it in the floors, but the floors are quite wavy. Some wonderful patch jobs up through here. flip I would say you'd have to take out everything get this house and start over here's one of the only baths I've seen so far I'm 
to the third level. Ooh, it's warm up here. This has been split up into two rooms. Electric has not run to code or in the walls. We have obvious water intrusion there. The middle room. Here's to be a roof hatch. Yes. And it does have a metal roof on it. That is in horrible state of repair. Chimney needs covered. Sorry about that, I had to secure the hatch back up. This is drywall up here. It is hot, steamy, not properly ventilated. Craftsmanship is, well, horrible. It'll need to be rewired as well. If you can see that banister, if you can see how it's leaning to the right, it's letting me know that this floor is coming in on itself. This main center wall is their load-bearing wall. This main center wall here is your load-bearing wall, and it's, it's sinking right there. Which means the center beam in this house would have to be lifted. Again, kitchen. So this thing, so far I've only found one bathroom. This size needs to be two bathrooms added. I need to go check out that center beam. Let's see if there's anything I can do to fix this structure. We has a asbestos ceiling tile down here. Well, that could be part of the problem.
we have no center load beam carrying the weight of this house. Looking to see if I can find evidence of one ever being here. There is no evidence of a previous center beam. We would have to put something in here to carry the load from front to back and bring the center of this house back up to its original condition. You also see the drop in the floor here. Although there's supposed to be a case molding or base molding on the bottom of that, you can see the difference in the floor height all the way around this room letting me know that the outside's hanging strong with the floor joister pulling away which is allowing this to come in at an angle A full rehab. Do you guys have the? Did you guys have the code and stuff? Yeah. You did. Yeah. Who yeah. called you to come in? Who were you talking to the realtor? No, my investor. He's talking to the realtor. Talking to so, Orin. So it codes four 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 four. Thanks. Yep. No worries. Alright, we're looking at, I'll, I'll get back to you on numbers. Low end. <laughs> Low end 110, high end 140 on our full flip rehab. Adding two baths, opening it up, center support. Fixing the structure in the rear, fixing the access. I'll run the numbers to get more accurate. We were here with other investors looking at the same property. Thanks, Orrin. Bye.